Everybody, Rich with Prep You down here in the bunker. It is another beautiful Saturday, so it must be time for range tip of the week. And as the title of this one states, the four golden rules of shooting. If if you stick with these golden rules of shooting, there's a 99% chance an RSO is never going to bother you. You're never going to... Uh, shoot something wrong you're never going to aim in the wrong direction you're never going to get in trouble with your firearm as far as shooting holding handling and stuff like that let's go over them and then we're going to go back and we're going to talk about each one and in some and i'm going to talk about some real life experiences and stuff like this all right golden rule number one the most always treat your firearm as if it is loaded huge one two always point your firearm in a safe direction and this is always, always, always keep your finger off the trigger until ready to shoot. Pretty huge. Always know your target and what's behind it. That is also very, very important. So let's go over these real quick and give you some real quick real life experiences, uh, both hunting, uh, shooting outdoors and shooting indoors. Okay. Always treat your firearm as if it's loaded. This is probably the number one thing that people do wrong this is the number one thing that people that are with their friends go whoa 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 you'll see that all the time and it's kind of crazy so you always have to treat it as if it's loaded because i get all the time i go hey 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 point that firearm down range and they'll go well it's not loaded i go are you sure you know what the first words out of their mouth are um i think well, let's not think. I don't care if your slide's open, okay? It doesn't matter um, if your s slide is open and you got a magazine in there, the slide is open, it's empty. Well, all it takes is you to jar that slide and it goes forward and around goes in it. And where's your finger? I see a lot of people, which we'll talk about in a second, always put their finger on the trigger, always. It's always there and that drives me nuts. It should drive you nuts. And you should also call people out. This is stuff you can call other people out because it's your safety and their safety that you have to think about. You know, it's just like I look at firearms that if you don't have a flag in the chamber, slides forward, and the magazine out, it's a loaded firearm. It's plain and simple. Always treat your firearm and if you're loaded. You won't shoot yourself. You won't shoot your friend. You won't shoot somebody else. Number one, the second one, always point your firearm in a safe direction. In case you don't follow rule number one, rule number two, if it goes off, you don't shoot somebody. I was hunting one time and it was super cold. This was my mistake. I was shooting with a uh, 30 30 lever action. Love it. Love that uh, rifle. Absolutely love it. And I was unloading. We were all in different directions. And as I opened, and then closed my coat heavy coat caught on the trigger and it fired fired right into the ground everybody turned around and went did you see a deer i said no i'm an idiot i caught on my jacket and everybody laughed but everybody laughed because no one was hurt we were all facing away from each other unloading our firearms pointing down at the ground okay i felt like a complete fool i really did so always pointing this in the correct direction. And this goes for at the range. When you've got the bags and you're pulling your firearm or your rifle out of that bag, you should know the direction of your firearm, where it's pointing. It should be pointing down range. When you unzip that bag and open it up and you pull it out, you go right to your tray and you set it down. It's always pointing down range. The firearm also should not have a magazine in it and there should be a chamber flag in the chamber. Unless, you know, bolt action, you can have the bolt. I pull my bolts out, okay? I set them off to the side, keep them nice and clean. Uh, that's how they travel. I know which direction my firearms are pointed. So when I set down and open up, they're never pointing out into the public area. Same thing when I'm, uh, when I'm setting my bag, when I'm hunting, when I put it on the back of my truck on the tailgate. I know which way the firearm is pointing i know which way to do it okay if i've got to zip it this way and fold it that way so it's pointing away or if i can zip it forward and then it's pointing this way it doesn't matter i know the direction of my firearm always keep your finger off the trigger until ready to shoot 
every single one of you has seen somebody or done it where you're holding onto your firearm and the finger is in the trigger. You can't say no. Everybody's done it. A lot of people still do it. It's a very dangerous practice. How many times have you seen people at the ranch turn and they still may have the, the firearm pointed downrange or kind of downrange, but the finger's still in the trigger and they're talking and they're waving the firearm around. Never put your finger in the trigger until you're ready to shoot. You train like that all the time and you should believe it. Always know your target and what's behind it. Those of you that are um, uh, the Walking Dead fans will remember in the episode uh, where somebody was deer hunting and somebody got shot. The deer got shot, but so did somebody else get shot. All right. You remember that episode. You remember what's going on. It's like at the range. You have your targets close. You're shooting at a silhouette. Maybe you're a little shorter and you're aiming, but you're aiming up. What's at the other end of the range? All the equipment that runs that target back and forth. That's how ranges get shot down because you're shooting at this angle. Okay. In a real life situation, concealed carry holders, you are threatened. Okay. An assailant comes towards you. You shoot that person. Okay. If you're not using self-defense rounds, that bullet's going to continue. And now you hit a civilian. Sure, your life was in danger. You took down the assailant, all right? But you hit somebody else. Know what's behind your target because you are responsible for exactly where that bullet goes. No questions asked. That's just the way it is. So let's go over these real quick. These are the four golden rules. Number one, always treat your firearm as if it's loaded. Hands down. Always, always, always. Always point your firearm in a safe direction. Always keep your finger off the trigger until ready to shoot. Always know your target and what's behind it. Those are the four. If you live by those four, you won't die by those four. Absolutely. And make sure your friends live by those and make sure the people that you are training new shooters your kids live by that rule no one wants to die by those rules all right that's it that is your range tip of the week this is a really really important one please pass this on to all your friends you know and if you any range you go to you're going to find these uh hanging on the wall the four very important rules, universal rules in shooting. So thanks a lot for watching this week's range tip of the week. Hope you have a good week and we will see you next Saturday. Take care. Thanks. Bye.